Welcome to this video, my name is Christian from Beyond Premiere. And before you get excited about Season 2, there's some heartbreaking news. We're uncovering the tragic reasons why Shogun might not be coming back for another season. Here's all the behind the scenes truth and the shocking revelations. Welcome and let's begin. Shogun, as many of you know, is a TV series based on the best-selling novel of the same name. It's an epic historical fiction story set in the 17th century Japan, following the journey of English sailor named John Blackthorne, as he navigates all the different things of the samurai culture and becomes entangled in the power struggles that we see. Before you leave, here's the important thing to understand. The Shogun TV series was envisioned as a single season adaptation of the entire book. This means that the creators intended to tell the complete story within the 10 episodes of season 1. They aimed to provide a satisfying conclusion, wrapping up the main plot lines and character arcs. The decision to conclude the series with a single season was a deliberate choice by co-creators Justin and Rachel. They wanted to honor the ending of the book and felt that extending the story beyond its natural conclusion would compromise the integrity of the narrative. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Justin explained, We took the story to the end of the book and put a period at the end of that sentence. We love how the book ends. It was one of those reasons why we both knew we wanted to do it, and we ended in exactly that place. Rachel emphasized her commitment to a single season, stating, Shogun is not like a normal TV series. If we were in a situation like this promoting it, we would not just be in the writer's room already. We had been on set shooting season 2 by now. Despite the exciting possibilities for a Shogun sequel or adaptation of other James novels, which I'm going to go ahead and discuss in a moment, there's a harsh reality to consider. Production timelines and the impact of delays. Shogun faced significant setbacks due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which pushed back filming and post-production for an extended period. But the sentence, they would have been already on set shooting season 2. This means that even if there were plans for a second season, the production process would have already begun. The lack of any news or announcements regarding a sequel suggests that, for the time being, Shogun will remain a single season series. Comes with its own set of challenges. The production team invested an enormous amount of time and resources into ensuring authenticity. Justin explained the extent of this effort, stating the following. I have been party to this in the past with shows like this, where you build a whole factory and it only pumps out 10 cars and closes up shop. You know, one of our producers wrote a nearly 900 page instruction manual for how we do this show, almost as long as the book Chogun itself. All of this infrastructural knowledge went into it. He further expressed his hope that this knowledge could be passed on, saying, I just hope someone, maybe a friend, needs a production primer in feudal Japan at some point. So I can be like, here you go, use this book. That will save you 11 months. As a huge fan of Shogun, both the book and the TV series, I cannot deny the feelings of a sense of disappointment at the idea of No Season 2. This show has captured the essence of the book, as well as the epic, epic tale bringing the characters and historical setting to life with the all the cinematography and the incredible performances. The thought of not seeing this character's journey continue is heartbreaking. There's so much potential for further exploration like the political landscape, the culture, and the evolving relationships between Blackthorn, Mariko, as well as the others. While I respect the creator's vision and their commitment to a single season adaptation, I cannot help but wish for more. Shogun has captivated audiences and the show has been incredible and its cancellation, in a way, because it's not really cancelled, it's just a mini series, would leave a void in the world of historical dramas. Now, before we completely lose hope for more Shogun related content, there might be a glimmer of hope and possibility. James, as you know, the author of Shogun, wrote several other historical fiction novels collectively known as the Asian Saga. One of the most popular books in the series is Taipan, which takes place in Hong Kong during the 19th century. Given the success of Shogun and the rich historical backdrop of the series of, well, in this novel, there's a chance that the creators might consider adapting this novel next. It will allow them to continue exploring themes of power struggles and the personal journeys with different historical characters. Well, this is just a speculation. <laughs> the possibility of Taipan adaptation offers a glimmer of hope for many of us who are craving more epic storytelling and historical dramas. While a second season might not be in the cards, 
There's another possibility that could offer a more complete Shogun experience. In interviews, the show's editors have hinted at the existence of many deleted scenes that didn't make it into the final cut of the series. The editor, Will, said the following. I mean, we have an inside knowledge of what was cut out because we did it. He said, there were some really good scenes that was really sad to see go. And this raises the possibility of a Shogun extended cut being released in the future if we don't get a season two. Such a version could include additional scenes that provide further insights into the characters, maybe expand on the plot lines, and offer a more nuanced exploration of the story's themes. While there's no official confirmation of this, the existence of the deleted scenes provide a glimmer of hope for us who want to delve deeper. Despite the creator's intention to end Shogun with a single season, there's still another possibility that I want to explore within the same universe, and that is Gaijin. This novel takes place in the 1800s, over 260 years after the events of Shogun. It tells the story of a young European immersion navigating the complexities of Japan in a time of increasing Western influence and rising xenophobia. And what's interesting about this is that Pug and the novel features characters connected to the lineage established in that novel, creating a sense of continuity and legacy. This is going to present a unique opportunity to the equal series that explores a different era of Japanese history while maintaining ties to the beloved characters. And hey, even the existing World Bible will be a solid foundation, saving time and resources while continuing the historical accuracy and cultural authenticity. While the future of the series, sequel series remains uncertain, the possibilities for continuation are truly endless. The show's success, connected with the popularity of the novels, creates a strong, really strong foundation for further exploration of the Asian saga universe. Whether it's a direct sequel, adaptation, or even spin-off focusing on different characters, or periods, or in dramas, there's a lot of material to keep the franchise. Now, the official podcast has provided insights into the creative process and the challenges faced during production. Several factors contribute to the questions surrounding a second season. Obviously, the commitment to the source material emphasize their dedication to adapting and providing a satisfying conclusion within a single season. The series, as you know, is a high budget production with many sets, costumes, and a large cast. The financial investment and logical challenges involved in creating another season. And hey, we don't even know if the actors are going to be available. Just the overall story has been such an incredible series. The production design, the cinematography, the characters, the acting has been a high budget and I'm so happy to talk about it. Now, as fans, we obviously want to continue to express our enthusiasm, support the show and keep the hope alive for a future where the saga continues. Now, I want now I want to take a moment to express my gratitude for the support they have been given the channel. The views have been so incredible that I'm really grateful for all of you taking your time to like and leave your comment. Thank you so much. You really continue to improve. That's the video for today. What are your thoughts on the possibility of a season two? And now knowing that may not happen, but hey, maybe a sequel series comes below. My name is Christian from Being Premiere, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone.